Good morning everyone, how are you today? I am coming to you with a swatching video. Um, my friend Priscilla sent me some wonderful ink samples and um, she has just started her own YouTube channel as well. So I'll put a link to her channel down in the description box below. Um, but Priscilla is Adventures Over 40. She's really into hiking and camping and loves her fountain pens and you should really go and check her out. So um, big thanks, big inky thanks to Priscilla for sending me these samples. And you'll notice I've actually got a different swatching book. Um, I like the Regalia paper, but I've been in that book for about a year now and um, it shows up shading and sheen very well um, and is a great paper, but it almost sounds a little bit squeaky when you're writing on it with some pens. And I don't know, I just, I was getting a little bit bored with it, if I'm to be honest. I've, as I said, I like it. Um, but yeah, I just want to go back to my Tomoe River paper to swatch inks. Um, and I also love the crinkly sort of sound that Tamoe River paper makes as well. It's more of a tactile sort of thing for me. Anyway, so new inky book. Um, it, this is a gallon leather everyday book. It's in the A5 size and it's, um, I've had the, I've had quite a few of these over the years and really, really enjoy them for everyday journaling as well. They work very well. So anyway. So that's that. Oops, oh, I'm screwing up my paper already. Just go check that I'm still in frame. Yes, I am. So Priscilla has sent me five ink samples. I've also got this little um, sample file holder that she sent to me quite a while ago. Um, so I'm going to use that as well. And I've tried to be a little bit more organized today so I have actually stamped out my, um, I don't know, inky splotches and name and brand and all of that. Um, that's using the Everyday Explorers Co. stamp set. And I'll just pull it out for you. So it's a three by four stamp set. It's made by Everyday Explorers Co. And it's called Currently Inked by Christine Heron. And these are the stamps that you get in the set. It's a really good little stamp set and they're not overly expensive either. So that's what I've used. And let's get into it. I think I might, I believe three of the inks are shimmer inks. So we might do the ones that aren't shimmer inks first. So let's have a look here. Uh, this one. So this one is Sailor Shikiori Waka Yugusu. Waka Yugusu. Um, so that's the first one we've got. Now, I saw Karina Loves to Plan was actually using one of these in one of her swatching videos. And I thought, I've got that nib set. I've got that nib. I should use that. So that's what I'm going to be doing my little ink swatch with today. And then I've got... Um, this dip pen, which is um, was a gift from Pay of um, who's over on Instagram, so thank you, Pay. I've had it for quite a while. So the weather here. I'm sorry. I'm just going to talk about this quickly. Two weeks ago, when I did my last video, we had 37 degrees Celsius in winter. It is now spring, and it is 16 degrees Celsius. Figure that out. I can't. It's just, I'm so over the weather. You can't sort of plan for the seasons anymore. Okay, hang on, I better put something under me. So this is the first one. Oh, it's pretty, it's a nice green. This is the Sailor Shikiori um, Waka Yugusu, I think it's called. Oh, that's so nice. So that's the first one, we'll just, whoops, probably went a little bit deep too. Uh, so it's a sample, okay, and it's 
The brand is Sailor Shikiori. I'm feeling very, very organized today with having all this stamped out. And it is Waka Ugusu. Ugusu? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a really lovely green though. Quite, um, it's almost, it's not like a deep green. Um, I would almost say it's got a bit of yellow in it. A little bit like an olivey sort of green. Probably shouldn't be doing this in the, in between this and this, but you know, you get the idea. That's really lovely. I like that one. The Sailor Shikiori inks are quite good quality. Um, they flow very well. So that's been my experience with them. I've got a few of them actually. The Tokua Matsu, I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite inks. So the next one we're going to do here is, and this is my first time um, trying a Laban um, ink. It's Laban Aphrodite. And I believe this is a beautiful, Priscilla's done like little color codes on the top here. So it's like a, a ready sort of color. So we'll do that one next. Oh, this is nice too. Look at this. So this almost looks like a ready brown color. That's how I would describe it, just seeing it right now, the naked eye. We'll see how they dry. Okay, so this is a sample. And that's Laban. And it's Aphrodite. This would make a really lovely colour for fall, I think, to use in your fall and autumn. Those of you going, or those of you going into that season now in the Northern Hemisphere. With this dip pen, you've got to hold it a certain way, the otherwise it doesn't sort of I quite like that. I think this one is going to shade quite nicely too, just from what I can see here on the paper already. So that's our second one. Let's put the lid on that. So what will we do next? Um, I think we'll do... Uh, no, not that one. This one. So this is uh, my first time using this brand of ink too. It's called Manaka Ray Jaguar. And I believe it's like a, a goldy shimmer ink. Another nice fall ink. Lots of shimmer. is pretty too. Very nice. I can already see the shimmer sort of amongst the swatch there. Okay, so this is a sample. Brand is Manaka, which I haven't heard of before. Manaka, and it's called Ray Jaguar. 
I remember seeing Priscilla swatch this one and put it in a pen and commenting and saying how gorgeous it was because it was a real, it was a lovely gold, sort of like a true gold colour. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so that's that one. We've got two more to go. Uh, the next one we will do, this one is, actually no, we'll do this one next. So this is um, Papier Plumes, The Faceless Lady. This is also a shimmering. And it looks to be like an emerald sort of green color, like a, almost like an, a greeny teal color. Let's watch it and see. Oh, this is beautiful. This is right up my alley, this color. Happier plume. This one's called the Faceless Lady. I need to slow down my writing, I think, when I do these, when I use dip pens, because I tend to write quickly. And I think I just need to slow it down a little bit. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is a little bit in the same color family as Teranashi um, Gentle Green. But this one's got shimmer. It's really pretty. Okay, so that's that one. And lastly, but not least, now this is a mix that Priscilla has made up herself. Uh, it is with Birmingham Pen Company and she's called an Olive Sparkle, her mix. It's a shimmer ink as well. Let's get the shimmer moving in it. I know I'm going to really like this one. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I've even got a, there we go. That's gorgeous. So, sample, Birmingham. Slow, Jane. Birmingham. I tend to write neater if I go slower too. And it's called, oh, I'm going to put Priscilla's mix here. And it is Olive Sparkle. Oh, I'm loving all of these. That's beautiful. Well done, Priscilla. So these three bottom ones are shimmerings. The top two are without shimmer but I can already see they're going to shade nicely. I'll just wait for those to dry a little bit. Now the other thing is, and I don't know whether you're, um, let me know in the comments below, 
just gonna see if I've still got it here. I have, yeah. So, you know how I do my envelope giveaways each month? Well, I usually do those in my currently inked for the month. And at the end of the video, I put up two envelopes that I'm going to, that I'm happy to send out to you and you have to claim an envelope, you know, first in best dress kind of thing. And I have done that pretty much for most of the year. Um, I don't know whether people are getting bored with it and they no longer are interested or whether people aren't watching my videos till the very end to see what they have to do to claim an envelope. I'm not sure. So I've still got one left over from two weeks ago that no one has claimed. So yeah, so let me know if you would like to have this sent to you. Um, you have to be following me or be a subscriber here on my YouTube channel and also follow me on my Instagram account, which is JP Pen and Inc as well, because that's where if I go back to you and say, hey, you're successful, you, you've won the envelope. Um, I need you to be able to send me a DM over there with your name and address details. I don't want you putting personal details in um, the comments section. It's just not safe. So, yeah, so let me know. Like, do you think you're all getting a bit bored with these? I mean, the whole reason I started this was so I could connect with you um, in another way, as well as just on here and replying to your comments and things. I wanted to be able to connect with people as well in the community and it's been really lovely because a lot of the people who I sent those giveaway envelopes to have written back and it's just been lovely to get to know them and sort of develop this friendship um, and that's that was my hope that was my hope that pe I would send them to people and that people would in fact sort of feel like writing back and you know, you start this pen pal journey together. Um, I'm an avid letter writer. I have been since I was five years old, believe it or not. So writing letters is kind of like my love language, I guess. It's, um, yeah. So anyway, but let me know, like, is it the envelope that you don't like? Or is it just the fact that you don't think people are watching the video to the end? Um, are you bored with this sort of thing? Let me know in the comments below, okay? I'd love some feedback on it. So anyway, one more envelope available if anyone wants it. First in best dress, um, providing I can, you know, um, post to your country. So now these are sort of drying a little bit more now. Let's have a little look up close. So we've got the Sailor Shikiori Waka Yugusu. We've got the Laban Aphrodite. The Monarca, Ray Jaguar, Papier Plumes, The Faceless Lady, look at that shimmer, hope you're getting this, and Birmingham Pen Company, Priscilla's Mix, which is Olive Sparkle. So, gosh, I hope you're seeing all those. Yeah, so really beautiful. Thank you very, very much, Priscilla, for this. It's, it was a bit of a surprise package too, like I wasn't, she said she was sending me something and I thought she was replying to my letter, but she actually sent me an inky package, so I'm very, very grateful. And it's actually enabled me to try samples that I wouldn't normally be able to obtain here in Australia, if that makes sense, because um, some of them you can only buy in the US. So, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who watches today, uh, everyone who has subscribed, um, who gives me a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and as I said, please go over and show Priscilla some love and check out her new channel. I'm very excited that she's starting her own YouTube journey. So go over there, follow Priscilla and show her some love. And until next time, take care and I'll see you back here. Bye.